don't know it's big now inside you get me right here right now yeah a couple of people been getting at me asking me what i think about that bouncer and that younger bouncer interview yeah on the honey chat thing yeah you know what i'm saying yeah r.i.p my man still yeah car first and foremost it's the victim thing yeah the man ain't air no more so respectfully yeah we got a r.i.p my man still no matter what level it's at yeah another thing i gotta say though on this thing as well before a man comes on interviews, yeah, and starts talking and things and starts saying certain things, and we hear the remorse on that, bro, bro. See, with remorse, you have to, you, that has to be shown in different levels, bro. You should be paying the, the family peas every month, fam. See, every month, fam, you're giving that family five bags, bro. I don't give a fuck, fam, until you're dead, fam. You understand where I'm coming from? Forget just coming up and talking about it and telling us, oh, you're sorry and that. Forget that, bro. Sorry only goes a certain, a certain level, bro. We want to see actions, bro. Especially, bro, brother, you should have just hid anyway. You shouldn't even have came online speaking your bullshit, bro. We don't care about none of that, fam. Yeah, so for when man's coming out, and I hear man saying he, he, he's not promoting it, but, bro, sitting down speaking about it, you are in a, in, a, in a different sort of level, bro. You get what I'm saying? Without you, you're not coming there sitting down saying you're paying the family or you're doing this for the family or, you know, this and that and where, where, where. You're coming down saying, boy, you get me, man's running at you with night. Forget all of that, bro. You dead in it. You know what I'm saying? What's done is done now. You should be paying. When all is right, you'll pay the family back, please, bro, every month, innit? Until you die, innit? Yeah? That's what it is, bro. You don't directly have to do that. Give that to someone else to go and get a family, bro. Yeah? That's a start, my brother. Yeah, when all is done, these sort of youths running up and down, killing each other and that, we're going to get them around the table and make them start paying out of their pocket for the, for the crimes they're doing. And you see what? None of these youths are really paying for the crimes they're doing. They do a little sentence, what, 14 years, a man's out. You dead. Come on, fam. That ain't no real justice, fam. Yeah? So I'm saying these youths, they ain't got no, there's no repercussions for what they do, especially when they come back out on the road. They can come and speak their life story on a podcast like we want to hear about it, like we want to hear relive. What about the family? You think the family want to relive that time now where they're thinking about their youth, their youth or their nephew or their son or their brother or something? You get me dying and you come on, fam, man. Let's be real. And if you're not paying peas or paying Jews back, fam, we don't want to hear no stories like that, bro. That's where the order has to come in. You're done, no big nine five, yeah. Well, I've got to say, yeah, man can't tell me about Yard, yeah, if your mum ain't beating them cheeks from when you're a little baby and they even come out of belly yet, yeah? Man can't tell me about no Yard culture, yeah? So, man, know that, innit? Yeah? Can't know enough for you, man, screaming this Yard, Yard thing, you get me? Ain't even listening to them tune there, you get me? So, eh, what I'm saying, big revival thing where I deal with, you get me? But another thing I want to say on this thing now, on a deeper note, still of a car, you know, I come to see on this net, yeah, a lot of men want to throw shade, you know, like, they love throwing shade behind a stone, you get me? Bare man got enough mouth, innit? Enough mouth behind the thing, but can't say nothing to... Listen, I told a man them something. If you pick up the video, yeah, and you have the video camera and you're talking about a next man, yeah, best be prepared, yeah, to go and say that in a man's face. So don't even bother making these videos. Cause I see enough man making videos from afar, throwing stones from afar. Yeah, and none of these men are brave enough yeah, to even get seen outside. We don't see no man outside, innit? Yeah, we don't even see a man. You understand where I'm coming from? Man can use the excuse, well, don't fuck that. We're never gonna see you outside, so stop throwing stones, you understand? It's not right, man, it's unbelievable. Yeah, so like, man come out their bubbles and start thinking on a, on a level on the road. Yeah, for when man don't see you, man don't believe you, innit? Simple, innit? Yeah, enough man throwing these stones on that, bro. I know you ain't gonna say nothing to when you see these man or when you see a man you're throwing stones on. And that's the hypocrisy of it, you get me? You get me? When man do a video, man has to have it in his mindset, be prepared for a man that you're that you're screaming at is gonna come at you for that video. So that's how I'm coming at a lot of men are making these videos and not even pre in that. You get me? I'm hearing man talking online rare, rare, and you get me, this man and Fam, because you're not preying that a man will come back to you, you're not even on that, bro. Yeah, so stop making fucking videos. You're the worst kind, because you're the man them that will throw stones and don't even really get in the war. You're not getting in no battle. You're the first man them to hold up the white flag in it. We know this, fam. So hear what I'm saying. For your pride, you remember, this is a man's pride. So for, for your fucking pride, yeah, just know what you're doing in it and stop making videos about people that you know you're not going to say that to in their face, innit? Or you're never even going to dream about meeting, brother. Yeah? 
it's all just gas right now. A lot of men are doing this thing. I see a lot of something's going on. From incidents like where a man them are getting robbed in rare tear tear. And man are just quick to throw stones on the situation. Man, don't throw stones on the situation. See what I'm going. And big up the man them in Sheffield and that. that let me know what I'm going for the deep green thing for real. For real, real. You get what I'm coming from? We're not going to express that on the net. We don't chat, you get me? But but they know who they are. Big up themselves for that one. Man, they've got to start standing behind their word, man. Stand behind your fucking word, yeah? And just remember this, if you're going to say something about someone, be prepared to say it in their face. Have that balls, you understand? Like, put it in your headset, you've got to be able to say it in their face before you can say it on the fucking net. Yeah, that's just order of the internet, man. That should be order of the rascal like, internet. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Instead of all these loose lips and that sinking bear ships out here on the rascal like, net. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I've got to state one little thing as well, you see us, like Peckham, yeah, it's our little thing. That's why you see Peckham, we don't pass a passer on each other. We don't really speak on each other, even if there's situations going on in each other, you get me? Inside that non thing, it's never going to be spoke about. You know why? Because it's our little thing, like the rascal, like Italian thing. You get me? What stays in Peckham and what happens in Peckham stays in Peckham. No other side will know that. You get me? I see bare other ends and that quick to squabble and bite against each other. You get me? Peckham's not really built like that. You get me? Obviously, in house beef and that. You get that wherever you go, but it's not a thing where we promote that to the outside. You get me? Remember, it's our little thing. There's order to certain things. You get me? I look at certain other areas in South and that there's no order, man. Even other areas, but. South in other areas, there's no order, man. You get me? Petty, petty. You get me? Remember, Peckham is our little thing. No matter what goes on, if you've got enemies down there, whatever happens down there, that's our little thing. Remember that. And I've got to school some rappers and some, some guys because, hey, what? Some guys are going on untouchable out here. You get me? This is a flip side to the coin as well, car. A lot of men are going on untouchable. I'm hearing man say, right, man, know about me and man, know what? Man can't even dream. What do you mean, man can't even dream, brother? Everyone rascal like, up bleeds blood and I know every man's been touched up. Do you get where I'm coming from? So let's not all go on like we ain't had like you get me? So I mean had man have had some critical L's out like, here, you get where I'm coming from? I don't get it twisted, innit? Yeah? So all this bad boy talk like a man can't get touched or a man can't I hear the gas in it and I hear the you get me? I hear the hype talk in it. But we all know when it's said and done, these same men have been touched already on it. They know what time it is, whether it be by something else or been touched in it. So they know what time it is. Don't talk like you ain't got it down, innit? Don't talk like certain certain things ain't going in, innit? You get me? So I said, certain men are just boxing up that, that they're too gassed up in whatever they're doing, fam. Remember, everyone's equal, fam. Yeah, there's no blood that runs greener than the next man's red blood. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So remember that. Don't let no man scare you with their fucking fake talk and that, that bad man, nothing. You understand where I'm coming from, car? You gotta remember this. We're living in a time where to be a bad man, you gotta have 50 men around you. Like, that's how you can truly be a bad man and talk your way, wicked talk. Without them 50 men around you, 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 you're not a bad man no more. This is the problem more. When you're wrapped up in prison and you get touched up, because certain men know what I'm saying when I say touched up, innit? Do you get where I'm coming from? It's a different story. You ain't got your 50 men around you. You understand that? You get me? We know Joe's a different dynamic anyway, so. But what I'm gonna to say to my man just recognise innit, yeah, and just humble themselves gracefully, cause it's all about grace, innit? If you are in a position where you're doing certain things in your path for good on you, but gracefully, remember that. Let's not let this thing go to our head and start talking like man's invincible when 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 God can just take your life at one second, my brother. Remember that, yeah. Any man can take another man's life G. Don't take a gangster to take a man's life G. Prisons full of man that ain't even really gangsters that took a man's life. Remember that, yeah. This is the realest of the realest talk, yeah. So Man on that spectrum where certain men are running up their mouth like they're invincible, allow that talk, man. Because we all know you're not invincible, you're living in that bubble. But John know that uh, certain men feel say they're in a bubble, so it, it, it hit me. But on uh, the next side of the thing, you get me? Man, them, trust me, man. Be brave out here, you know it is. The fight's for the brave, you get me? It ain't for the weak, remember that. Yeah, big up my people, you done know UPP for life, yeah?